Hi, I'm Alex Rosen. I'm with IT People Corporation's blockchain practice. I want to demonstrate for you an application that our team built um, on the Fabric blockchain, which is part of the Hyperledger project. I'm going to just start at the home page of the application. It is a auction application and we use it to uh, demonstrate auctioning some high value art um, uh, pieces. Uh, right now there aren't any uh, uh, items loaded into our blockchain. Uh, but I'm going to open three terminal windows um, to start getting it loaded. So on the first one I'm going to start a single node blockchain for us to use. And that's firing up. And then on the second window, I'm going to uh, register the chain code for the auction application with the node that uh, we just created. And in the third window, um, I'm going to use the command line to populate um, some data. So we're, we're saving some time here. Um, we're actually uh, creating some users. Uh, and we're getting back transaction IDs. So as we uh, post these users, we get back a transaction ID, which we could potentially use to uh, verify that consensus has been reached and, and that particular uh, user has been created on the chain. And then um, we need some items. So we're going to uh, create some items to populate uh, that we can place up for auction. And again, we're getting back. Uh, transaction IDs as uh, we generate each of these. Um, we could do some of these things using member services, but we wanted to keep this simple. This is really a uh, kind of demo uh, and a way for us to learn about uh, some of the capabilities of Fabric and also to allow others to look at the code and, and learn from it as well. Okay, so now I'm back at the, uh, the home page and just refresh. And this particular app uh, shows us what assets are available on the block for uh, placing up for auctions. So we drill down into the first asset and we get some details about that item. Um, down at the bottom, you'll see a current owner ID. So that's one of the owners that we created and a key. And actually, this particular key um, binds the um, the item to that owner, um, which is used later to make sure that only that owner uh, takes actions on this asset. Um, so since we're talking about auction, you normally want to set a reserved price for the auction, so we'll do that now. And then you may be familiar with some auction sites that uh, allow you to state a buy it now price. So um, we've got logic. Um, that checks to see if the buy it now price is reached and if it does then it uh, completes the auction and that particular party uh, has won the auction. What we're going to do now is, is put this asset on auction, so we'll put, put on auction. Um, and in our uh, scenario that then goes out to an auction house, so this isn't a direct peer-to-peer -peer auction, we're still considering that auction houses are in the mix. Um, and so we can now uh, act as if we are the auction house and see that um, somebody has presented an item to us to consider to, uh, to put on auction. And we can do things like uh, verify uh, who the owner is and other details about um, the item and then um, make a decision uh, to go ahead and open the auction. When we do that, we're asked for how long this auction, um, what the duration should be. So we're just going to do one minute and open up that auction. And buyers can um, place bids for as, as long as this uh, item is up for auction. So we're just going to put in some buyer IDs and um, place some bids. Um, and our logic does make sure that it's a valid uh, buyer ID. And then each bid is 
uh, recorded you know, immutably, which is nice, so nobody can take back their bid. You have a good record of everything that happens in the auction process. Um, and we're getting events back from the chain that are showing us, uh, we're displaying here to indicate what the current highest bid is. So that's a nice feature um, that we're using in Fabric. Um, and so we're just kind of running through, continuing to place bids. We've got about 10 seconds uh, left on this guy. And let's see, we're going to pick the reserve, of course, because our logic required that. And now our auction is closed. And we can then go back to the main page and take a look at the details. And we get to see that the uh, highest bid, the person, the owner, uh, the party that placed the highest bid of twenty thousand dollars is now the current owner, and there's a new key um, that is that uh, has been created that binds this uh, asset to that particular owner. So that's the auction process. We'll just show one more function that's in this um, application, and that's if you just didn't need the auction part, but you just wanted to have the logic for transferring items from one owner to another. Um, we've got a transfer item capability in here. Um, so we can select a particular asset. Um, we've got the same one. And then we will um, select a user that we want to transfer ownership to. And we'll go ahead and uh, complete the transfer. And we can go back and take a look and we've got the item transferred to owner uh, ID 300 and a new key has been created. So thanks a lot for taking a look at our demo. It, there is code for this available on GitHub and there's an instance of it uh, running on Remix if you'd like to take a look um, at either. It would be great and we welcome your feedback. Thank you.